Hello everyone, again it's me, Martin Monarch. I'm the Director of the Technical Services at Solid Experience. And today I want to show you some tips and tricks regarding Excel that you can use while maybe creating a design table in SOLIDWORKS. To show my tip and tricks in Excel, I'm going to use uh, uh, an example with a sketch with dimension already defined with some name in it. And with that example, I'll start a new design table. And when you're creating a design table, SARWORKS will ask you which dimension you want to control in your design table in Excel. So I'm going to use all these four dimensions and SOLIDWORKS will add them into my Excel spreadsheet. So now if I want to add some dimension, for example, a flange four by two or a flange uh, five by three, I need to know all the value right here, one by one, and also always entering all the value in that Excel uh, spreadsheet. So it's gonna take a long time. Of course, you can copy paste, but if you need to create uh, all the value or all the configuration related to that wide flange beam, well, it's going to be a long, uh, long time to work. So instead of doing this, I will edit my table and I will add the property description that I want, would like to add into the Excel. And instead of just putting this by hand, I will use um, on the web a table with all the related value and I'm going to copy those value and just paste it into Excel and all the value will be add directly in my spreadsheet. I need to do some little cleanup. So to clean up, of course, I need to erase this. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to copy those value and in Excel, paste those. And now here's the trick that I want to show you. You need to do some little cleanup. So of course you can select a line and delete it. But if you want, you can select those four and press the control key with the minus sign and magically all the line has been removed. You can do the same thing with the column, control minus, they're gone. If you want to add the column, control plus and you're going to be able to add the column that you want. So by using control key with the minus or the plus sign, it's very easy to remove those extra line very quickly. That said, in this case, in this special cell, I would like to add the description that I want on my configuration. So of course, I can retype W by 27 and all these things, but you know, uh, one trick I want to show you, I'm going to put here on the right cell the name that I want to have on the description. So I wide flange beam and I'm going to use the equation by using this cell. And if I want to add the other cell with the value right here, I'm going to use the I percent sign and I'm going to add this cell. And the result will be that now it's wide flange beam with the value on the left. Of course, I miss a little um, space between those two. So again, in, on, on my equation, I'll use again the I percent sign and put the ditto mark with a space between the two of them. And the result that now I have a space between the two cells. Now, if I pull this right here, you'll see that the cells on the left will follow. That's what I want, but the left on the right is still going downstairs. So instead of copying this everywhere, I'm going to show you another trick. So the cell H3, you want to keep it the way it is. So what you're going to use, you're going to use the F4 key. And the F4 key, as you can see, is adding the dollar sign before the column and the row. And the result will be that if I stretch this, the cells on the left is following and the cell on the right is staying there. So it is, it's a pretty easy way to create all your configuration and all your description 
of your of your board very quickly one things I have to do left just close this you see all the curve configuration configuration that has been created very quickly in Excel with all the different dimension all the beam that you want now you have a nice library file linking very quickly in SolidWorks that you can use in your design in summary if you use the control and minus key at the same time this will delete row or column in Excel if you're using the control with the plus key this was this will add row and column in the equation if you're using this sign that I don't remember the name sorry about that we call that the a sign this will combine cell if you're using this sign it will add text if you're using the dollar sign this will um, freeze the cell when you're going to stretch the the cells in Excel for example and I give you the example right away that I use in my um, design table file I hope those tricks in Excel will help you you know every day if you have any question just let me an email call me I'll be glad to answer your question and see you next time thank you very much